Sing to me a pen, all that pen. Sing to me a pen and sing next song of peace. From the toys that I need, it will bring release. Burn a quill of me with the pen of mercy. So travels on a great blessing, so my heart will flow. Sing to me, I'm a heavenly holy tree of this golden glory of this worldly dream. Sing to me with the channels of the evening fall. Sing to me, I'm a heaven's sweetest song of the world. Sing to me a heaven as I walk alone. Bring me all the hunger that so long had gone. In no fairer region of the angel throne, they are happy as they sing that old sweet song. Sing to me a heavenly song, dream of the golden glory of this world we Sing to me with shadows of the evening fall. Sing to me a heaven's sweetest song of the Sing to me a heaven to hurry and go. Till the shadows of the crisis quickly go. When my heart is weary in the pain is gone. Sing to me a heaven, sing that old sweet song. Sing to me a Sing to me when shadows of the evening fall. Sing to me a heaven sweet song. The next selection will be number three. Number three. Hallelujah, praise you all. And I have to sing this one will be laid scripturally in prayer. Number three, hallelujah, praise Jehovah. Okay. 
James chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. And he reads, Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by 
our space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. I read to you James chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. Let us all stand. Good morning, church. Let us go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning thanking you for allowing us to assemble together once again to lift up your high and holy name. Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for all the many blessings you have given us throughout this week. We're so, we're so thankful for your son, Jesus Christ, and the sacrifice he gave to us so that we may have the opportunity for eternal life, Heavenly Father. We're so thankful for all those who are able to be in attendance with us here today in person and also online, Heavenly Father. We just ask you to bless and continue to watch over us, Heavenly Father, as we prepare to enter this service. We pray that you will help us to remove anything that may keep our focus away from you, Heavenly Father, so that we may give you all the honor, glory, and praise this, this morning. It's in your son Jesus' name we have to pray and ask all things. Amen. The next lecture will be number 523. I know the Lord is very good. 523. Five hundred and twenty three. I know the Lord is fine. Okay. I know the Lord will find a way for me. I know the Lord will find a way for me. If I walk in heaven's light, it shall walk in his delight. I know the Lord will find a way for me. The Lord has said, Go preach the word to all the world. The Lord has said, but reach the word to all the world. If I walk in the light, it shall be known and be the light. I know the Lord will find a way for me. Won't it be great to live and say? Well done. Won't it be great to hear him say, Well done. You can walk in the heaven's light, you start to grow, you build that time. It's great to hear him say, Choked up to the next song. If you will, place your markers on number 674. I have decided to follow Jesus to be our song of invitation and song of encouragement. 674. If you will, place your markers. Our next lecture will be number 525. Who knows just what I mean? Who knows just what I mean? 525. Not the same this song, but the elders will come and preach themselves the word of God. 525. All happy. 
My Jesus knows when I am complete. He knows his face, he sees his He understands his only way. He understands his believers. My Jesus knows just what I need. Oh, yes, he knows just what I need. He satisfies and every needs of life. Yes, he knows just what I need. My Jesus knows when I am burdened. He knows how much my heart can bear. He lifts me up when I am sinking and brings me joy beyond compare. My Jesus knows just what I need. Yes, no, just what I need. He satisfies and every need of life. Yes, he no, knows just what I need. With other friends, thank you for that need. When stars are gone. We hope is known by faith I feel his arms around me and clear his face. You're not alone, my Jesus knows just what I need. Oh, yes, he knows just what I need. And he says, Good to be here. Yeah. Bless us and began here, giving us another time that we are able to assemble together to worship Him in the Spirit and the truth. And I'm thankful to God for blessing us and I'm thankful to you for being here this morning. We're making a decision to worship and to assemble together with the saints of God and to worship God in the spirit and in the truth. God's good. Amen. And He has been good to us. And I'm thankful to our God. I am mindful always that dear God who has blessed us and now we are on self. So I'm thankful to our God, and again, I'm thankful to you. If you're joining us online, we're thankful again for your presence. And if you're visiting, if you want you to know that you are on a guest. And we know you could have gone anywhere to worship, but you made a decision to come and to worship with us, whether it's sibling with us here or joining us online. We're thankful for your presence. <coughs> and we pray that. You might be inspired leaving here to serve God more so than you can. Amen. With a greater commitment to our God. I am I'm wanting you to sing with me this morning. Uh, 
to 172. Four hundred and twelve. This is right, right? Four hundred and twelve. That's what I said. First time. Oh, Jesus, hold my hand. Oh, yeah. What we have as I travel through this field of mountain land, there is a grand old walk for me. It is this, it is good of Let's sing in the last 
And it really is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he had committed sin, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man of a much. Elias was a man subject to like compassion as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. <coughs> and he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err of truth and one convert him, let him know that he which converted the sinner from the error of his work shall save the soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. And right. James encouraging the church. Teaching them, I just believe a great lesson in, in prayer and what we need on life journey. James says, if you're afflicted, uh, pray. Something's gone wrong, go on and pray. The man like you heard him, y'all pray. And then he expanded that to even their present day, saying that if there's any sick among you, when you study that really is the sick, really that really leads to death. You say, let them call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him at all. There's a prayer of faith. He says this, this statement that it shall save us. So he has to be to the, sick to the point of death, yet because of the gifts of God, especially in first century, they were able to pray and actually heal themselves. 
And he says the, that the prayer of faith was saved. And then he said we ought to confess our faults one to another. Can I just kind of tell you this, 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 while I'm passing here, a little in there. It is God who knows us. It is God who made us know all about us. See, we're not good at confessing or telling on ourselves. Right. We ain't good at saying what I've done. It's me. I, I messed up. And exactly what I've done. He says, look, I want you to do what you Confess your fault. Be able to tell when you've been wrong. That's a struggle. But to be able to say, I ain't perfect, God. I messed up. Because if you're not careful, we'll be that people that act like because we're Christians, we never do anything wrong. But anyway, yeah, just a little bit. And then he says, pray one for another that you may be healed. And so even when we're, there's something wrong with us, when we are afflicted, whatever it is, we ought to pray for each other. He says, for the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous of many months. I want that in your mind this morning, the prayer of the righteous. The prayer of the righteous. Anybody in here pray? Amen. This is interesting, and, and, and this is a, a lesson I just believe that James helped us with as a people. And so I just want to encourage you this morning. We had a great event last night. We had a great event here last night. Amen. Amen. And looking around, you know. Most of you were a part of that event, a great event. And thinking about that event and about before the event happened, I don't know if you, like me, like others, you know, we're watching the weather and we're thinking about the weather and what it's going to do and thinking about planning for the event. And and, and what the turnout would be and all of that. And here's what I know. There are those who were praying for the event. We were praying for the event, we were praying for the weather, we were praying for the turnout, we were praying about this event. And I remember thinking about that because we we prayed about it, y'all, and, and, and then, you know, it's like, well, the rain is coming. There ain't no getting around, and it's going to rain. I remember someone saying, you're going to have an event because it's going to rain. I say, yeah. You know, I, 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 uh, I, I told you this before. I had a uh, real good friend of mine. Her dad had a, obeyed the gospel. And uh, he really wasn't a church boy. And uh, obeyed the gospel later on in life. He was, he was in his 60s, obeyed the gospel. And, be, and was a faithful member of the church. And, but his wife had not obeyed the gospel. And, and, and one morning, they were and storm. And he was getting ready to go to church. Get going and go serve the worship. And wife said, You going out there and all that rain? He said, It's raining in the building. <laughs> I remember the no idea, you know, it was like, Y'all gonna still have this fall fest, like, it's raining in the building. And so people were asking that because, you know, things were hinder. You try to do a great work, you try to do a good work. But I know that there, there were all of you, or, 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 or some of you, were praying for the event, and it was a great success. Yes. Listen, I left here last night. Really, I was overcome. I was, I was just, 
just feeling just overwhelmed with the fact of how everybody was involved. Amen. Amen. It just warmed my heart. You know? Amen. But I believe the success of what we did, you know, and the people we are able to, to, to contact and communicate with and, and, and have common share, all of that happened because some of you were praying. I just believe this, that prayer affects things. Amen. Prayer affects things. That ain't just me saying that. That is James speaking through the Holy Spirit that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man of better not. It makes a difference. So I am mindful that it is all throughout Scripture. Prayer matters. It is Moses. When you go to with me to Exodus chapter 30, uh, Exodus chapter 32, it is Moses. And, and, and we won't read that, but what I want you to see is it's always now this bill is not a prayer, but it is Moses going to God on Israel's behalf. And Israel messed up like they always mess up. And, and when you get to verse number nine, God says he's going to destroy them. Go ahead and read verse nine. And the Lord said unto Moses, he's talking to Moses, I have, I have seen this, this, this people. I've seen this people. And behold, behold, it is a stiff it's a neck. Stiff neck bro. They won't do what right. They ain't going to turn. This is God leading him out of Israel. And God blessing them. And then God called Moses up in the mountain and then been up there for a little while and come back down. They messed up. He said, Moses, get back down. And I'm both messing up. Stiff neck if they want to. And so the Lord says, go ahead and read. Now therefore let me alone. He said, let me alone. That my wrath may wax hot to this And that I may consume it. Yeah, listen, I got to destroy it. It is Moses from that point forward begin to talk to the Lord on Israel's behalf. And he began to tell the Lord everything he already knows. You know? but, but, but forget Moses petitioned God on Israel's behalf. Lord, you don't want to do that because then he starts telling the Lord everything he knows. And yet when Moses finished petitioning the Lord on Israel's part, verse number 14, the Bible says what? And the Lord repented of the evil. And because of Moses, y'all, the Lord repented. He changed his mind. What he says of the evil which he thought to which he thought to do against his people. And I tell you that we make a difference in the sight of God. We matter. And so here it is that Moses, and so I know, I know that Moses was a great leader for God's people. But what I want you to know is that you don't have to be a Moses. Just be a Christian. Just be righteous in the sight of God. Go back, go back with me to, to, to James chapter 5. Because, you know, I, I remember thinking, you know, you, 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 and when you do, uh, do Moses, because Moses really compared to Christ Jesus. But, but, but here's what James said in James chapter 5 and verse number 17. He talks about Elias. And he says what? Elias was a man subject to like he said, compassion. Uh, Elias was a man subject to like compassion. What he said, Elias was a man what now? Subject to like compassion. He was just God. like us. He was a prophet of God, but he said he was a he was a man subject to like compassion. He was subject to what we're subject to. Amen. He had the same fault, the same flaws. The same thought. He messed up like he messed up. And so did Moses, y'all. Right. 
But yet, he was just like us. And, and James said what? And he prayed earnestly. And he prayed earnestly. That it might not run. That it might not run. He petitioned the Lord that it might not rain. Go ahead and read. And it rained not on the earth. And it didn't rain on the earth for three, three and a half years. And then he prayed again. Go ahead and read. He prayed again. He prayed again. And it rained. Rain. The Lord, Elias, was able to affect the whole world at that time based on his prayer to God, his petition to God. What are you saying? I'm telling you that your prayers matter in the sight of God. Now, wait a minute. If you begin to approach God praying like your prayer matter, maybe you'll pray differently. And maybe you'll, maybe you'll pray. Go into to, uh, 1 Peter chapter 3. Listen, when you approach the Lord with, it, with this understanding that your prayers matter to God, you might pray different. Right. Go ahead and read what he says, 12, uh, 3 and 12. First Peter. The Bible said what? Go ahead and read. Yeah, first Peter chapter 3, verse number 12. For the eyes of the Lord. Says the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. Are over the righteous. His ears are open to the And his ears are open. They are inclined. To the one down. To their prayers. Lord, it says, the prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's what James said. And Peter said, the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous. His ears are inclined to us. He is listening for us. Waiting for us. And we dare not neglect the Lord. You see, the Lord want us to pray to him. James 5, again, in verse number 13, James says, If any afflicted, let me pray. When you're having a tough time, we pray, but you ought to pray honestly to the Lord. Go with me to Matthew chapter 7. Listen, we ought to, listen, we ought to pray to the Lord, I'm telling you, because we matter to God. We matter to God. God matters to me. The Lord matters to me. But just like that, I matter to him. In Matthew 7, 7, the Bible says, ask. And you shall receive, knock, and you shall be open. Ask, and you shall, you shall receive, knock, and the door shall be open. Go ahead and read this. I don't miss it. Ask, and it shall be given to you. It shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be open. Everyone that asks and receives it, and everyone that seeks it, the Lord said, it will actually happen. And you're thinking, what? It will happen? And then the Lord tells you why. Verse number nine, he says what? Well, what man is there? He said, now what man, y'all? If the son asks bread. If your son asks you will bread. Will you give him a stone? Will you give him a stone? Or if he asks you bread. If your child asks you for, if your child asks you for something, you telling me you're going to give him a stone? Say no. Or if, you ask, or if your child asks you for fish. You say, well, the shirt you don't give him a statement, give him a statement. Y'all listen, we know, listen, God, see, God know us. And he appeals to our understanding of us with our children. Think about it, how we deal with our children, with our grandchildren, with our niece, how we deal with children. And you say, we better than God. Because that's what God is asking. Are you saying we, we better than God? He said, what man, you child asking for a fish, you gonna give him a snake? Go ahead and read what he said. If he did, then he did. He said, then you be evil. And you know how to give good gifts. First of all, show your father, which is in heaven. Isn't that 
just that God don't do different than us, but more so than us. The Lord is waiting to bless us. The Lord wants to bless us. Just like you do for the children. Oh, if you think about it, man, sometimes, you know, we, we, we kill our children. Which one of us knowing our child standing in need and we wouldn't do for it? God said that I even more so than that. The Lord wants to bless us. So in those situations when we stand in need, we ought to ask the Lord. Go ahead and read it. He says, read that again, girl. If you eat then, then you eat then, then evil. Know how know to how give good to you. The children. Your father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him. Ask him. Lord is over the righteous. His ears and kind to our prayers. But we can't act like we don't need the help of the Lord. Yeah. We got to understand that the Lord will bless us. But we have to understand that no matter how tough I am, how bad I am, how successful I am, I need the Lord. And we should all be mindful that God is there wanting to help us. Right. He is there wanting to help us all. We are his children. We are his children. And God will bless us if we ask him. Wow. Ask and you shall receive. See, you shall find now and the door shall be open. But James says this, now, and I know it's related to something a little different, but I want you to see it. James says, that if you know, any among you sit, let him call for the elders and, and, and let them pray over him, anointing him at all. The prayer of the, the prayer of faith shall save the sick. That will actually deliver them from death. But that you, but, but, but what he says is it's a prayer of faith. Anybody ever go to God praying and believe in what you pray? Amen. Go with me to James chapter one. So this whole idea, y'all, look, God want to bless us, but when we approach the Lord, you got to approach the Lord with a little bit of confidence that the Lord will bless me. Don't get on your knees. Uh, don't get in your knees and doubt. In James chapter 1, verse number 5, James says, if any man like wisdom, let him ask God to give it to all men. Liberally to all of them and pray that not. So if you ask, you need, he's talking about wisdom, but he's talking about asking God. Verse number six, James says, Why? Let him ask him. But faith. if you ask the Lord, anybody ever ask the Lord for something? He said, But if you ask the Lord, here's what you do, he said. Let him ask him faith. Ask him faith. Not wavering. Not wavering. Get on your knees and pray to the Lord. Lord, maybe you might not. You just can kind of help me. I know, I know you don't do it, but if you just help me, Lord. How do you approach God? How do you pray to God? See, we ought to pray to the Lord with an assurance that the Lord will bless us. Because the Lord is listening to our prayers and he's going to help us with his children. The problem is that God is also. Confidence. He says, but if you, he says, if you don't have the confidence, keep reading what it says. When he didn't waver. He didn't waver. He didn't waver. He's driven with the fear. Talks. Let not go rain. Don't no, let that man think he's going to receive anything of the Lord. Because a double minded man is unstable in all his way. Y'all, the problem ain't the Lord. First John chapter 5, go with me there. See, God will bless us. The Lord will bless us. He's waiting to bless us, He's listening to bless us. We just get us out of the way. 
John, John says this. Right there. John says this. Verse number 14. Verse John chapter, chapter 5, 14. John says what? This is the confidence. And John said this, y'all. You can hear John. John said, and this is the what? He said, this is the, I got confidence in my God. John said, this is the confidence that we have in him. What he said. If we ask anything, and if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. This is my confidence. The Lord is listening, and I know he'll hear me. But, 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 but the first thing is I keep myself righteous so that when I go before the Lord, I know he hear me. I know the Lord will hear me. And all I want to do is I want to present myself before him in such a manner that nothing hinders him from hearing me. And I come to the Lord and I pray to the Lord, Lord, this is what I need, but, 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 but the Lord know what I need even before I ask him. He just want me to humble myself and ask him. So I keep myself righteous and I come before the Lord Petition is strong, understanding and knowing that the Lord will help me. Because if I ask according to his will, I know he will help me. Yes. I know the Lord will help me. And here's what he said. Keep reading. And if we know. And if we know. That he hears us. That he hears us. Whatever we ask. We know that we have the petitions that we desire. We have the petitions that we desire. Lord, listen, y'all. Uh, here's what here with John said. John said, is that, that God will hear us. We have the confidence that he hears us, and we have the confidence that he'll bless us if we ask according to his will. Can I tell you what John is really telling you? Just because you ask everything you ask, God ain't gonna give you everything you ask for. Don't go, don't think the Lord just gonna give you everything. You know, I just, you know, you, you know, we start fantasizing about what I can ask the Lord for, and we don't need it to glorify God. James said we want to consume it on our Lord. If we ask the Lord, the Lord according to you will, I know what you want for me. If this is what you want for me, Lord, bless me, Lord. He said, we're here. You know how you do your children, right? We don't give our children everything. Or do we? Oh, we shouldn't anyway, but that's a different thing. That's a different thing. But the whole idea is, is God will not give us everything according to his will. He hears us. And Lord hears us. It's a confidence. Pray, pray. I know the Lord hears us. And if the Lord hears us, he'll bless us. Can, it, can I just can I explore just, just the confidence that we have in the Lord? You see, the Lord wants us to come. Because just like, just like Elias and, and, and Moses, you know, Jesus was a man just like a, a light compassion. Go with me, Hebrews chapter, Hebrews chapter, actually Hebrews chapter two, it talks about the, 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 the humanity of Christ Jesus. When you get to around verse number, uh, verse number 16, but, but it talks about Jesus was a man of light compassion, like you. He wasn't made an angel. He was made a sinful flesh, just like us. Right. So he could appeal to God for us. And so he says that, I, 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 the reason I want you to understand that because, see, when we come to God for whatever we need, it's James that said, if you are afflicted, pray. That if you're going through something, pray. Now here's the thing. The Lord knows what you're going through. Right. Who better to go to than the Lord? You know how we tell everybody about our problems with God. We can talk to everybody about what's going on with us with God. Verse 17, go ahead and read. Wherefore, go ahead and read. What he Wherefore, in all things, in all things, it it be moved, be made like to be to made you. like us, y'all. That he might be a merciful, so he might be a merciful, and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God. Now, can I tell you? God understands. It's not. It's just. I doesn't. 
And to me, that doesn't do it. It doesn't do justice to what happens when you go to God because he understands. And that's that saying that it's, it's so simple, but it's so profound if you understand that the Lord Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct you. If we just trust the Lord, y'all, I need to encourage it. And we ought to keep, and then you say, I trust the Lord. I say, keep trusting Him. I trust the Lord. I have trust the Lord as much as I. We need to build our trust in God. You see, what the Lord knows more than anything is your response to Him and how much you really trust Him for the stuff we need in life. And when you're afflicted, is how you really trust the Lord. 
So we try to solve our own problem. We try to make it, we, we fix it, we miss it, fix it. We miss it and miss the fix it. But then we rely on one more. Yeah, I ain't been so encouraging this morning, y'all. Trust in the Lord. Amen. Lord will make a difference, y'all. Yes, you will. He'll bless us. He'll help us. Y'all, I pray God bless us. I pray God continue to help us. As we keep striving to be what he would have us to be. This morning, if you're here, you're not a Christian, you ought to be one. Hear that Jesus came from heaven, suffered and died on the cross of our sin. Hear that. Believe that. Believe that. Not only that Jesus died, but he died for you. Then be willing to repent of the sin. Say, I'm no longer going to live the way I've been living. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to live my life for the Lord. Right. And then I'll stand before man and confess that Jesus is the Son of God. That confession brought death to Christ and brought life to the last one to you and then commit to being buried in baptism with you for the remission of your sins. All of your sins will be washed away. You become a new creature in Christ. Live faith unto death. And you will receive the crown of life. If you're a Christian, if you haven't been where God will have you been, you've fallen short. And you want to get that right with God. I want to encourage you to repent, confess, we'll pray with you, and God forgive you. And all of us together keep working out our soul salvation. So if you stand in the event, make an honest day. We stand in together. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Again? Oh, yeah, Sean. Good morning, church. Good morning. So, this is a prayer. Uh, uh, prayer and she decided to talk to me this week. So, I don't know if it's coming up. So, I don't know if it's coming up. Amen. Good morning, church. Good This is only a question. Well, gracious as eternal Father, we thank you for this is another opportunity that you allow us to awaken to work on ourselves and soul salvation. Yes. To proclaim you, your greatness and your mercy. We lift up our brother and sister, sister, brother and sister here, and we pray for first pray for the joy. You know what she's going through. And we're so thankful that that you bless her with parents, your family, to continue to point her to Christ, to lean on Christ. And through such times, we pray that as Sister Gibbs is about to spend a valuable time with her, that that time will, will strengthen her, not only spiritually, but for things pertaining to life. And so give them the wisdom, give them the understanding that they may share with her. And use whoever you may go to do it with her, that your glory will be magnified. And that as a result of us leaving to you, the Lord, that the end of this thing will be better than it is. This is Christ's name and we pray in your thanks. Amen.
So we'll have uh, uh, Thomas. So Micaiah has made a decision. And he's going to put Christ on his baptism. Micaiah has been, 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 been with us from the beginning. And been considering that and been talking and been talking to his family about his decision. And this is a decision that we talked about for a while. But he's finally made that decision. And so I am uh, one of Kai this morning. And as he's before all of you, to make the confession that we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And so after doing that, we're going to go and we're going to take it and we're baptize it. Hopefully, we're going to make this work at the Great Oaks Church of Christ. Uh, and so, for Kai, uh, wanted you this morning to confess to, me, to, to this order that you believe that Jesus is Christ is the Son of God. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. 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 That is my life to you. And we're going to take the guy out and we finish here and we go over the way up. And so if you want to join us, you can do that. Amen. Right? Uh, Father, your Father in heaven, Father, we thank you for this day, for all your blessings. Help us, Father, to be mindful that every good year, every perfect year comes to you. Father, we're thankful. We're thankful this morning for Micaiah's decision, Father, to put you on the baptism. Father, we pray that you will bless that decision and that he might grow in faith as he walks with you. Continue to, to learn and be strengthened and become faithful to your cause. Father, we thank you. We pray your blessings and we pray you that you might bless his family as they work with him and help him to be all you will have to be. Bless him and bless them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, but there is a plan to ask this morning. This morning, I'm serving a lot of people in the first three weeks that we should be able to heal. God knows what we're going to do. We're going to read the book of Acts 20, verse 35. Of Acts 20, verse 35. It reads thus In everything I have shown you that I work in hard, you must have to weep. This is the way we remember the Lord and Peter for this. Is more blessed to hear than to see. Yes. Lord God in prayer. Oh, hell heaven, Father in heaven. That's, a, that's an awesome. To pray for you to appear in your kingdom. And more so to you. Yes. That's an awesome day this morning. But when it doesn't happen, please just in Jesus Christ and your sake. Let the church begin. Amen. 699. I'll be a friend of Jesus. They try to know, they try to know, and ask her, with no one to bend over, did it with no one but my head, he stood with my head.
Let's just prepare our hearts and our minds for communion. Let's go to some 347. He lives. 346, I'm sorry. He lives. Let's just prepare our hearts and our minds for communion. Three forty six and leave it all happen. I serve as a savior in the world today. I know that he is reading whatever they say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of fear. And just the time I need him, he's always here. He lives, he lives, and Jesus lives with me. He walks with me and finds me, a love that's never away. He lives, he lives, salvation to his heart. He lets me how I know he lives. He lives, faith in my heart. We come out of the day of the Lord's to be quoting back to you, thank you, Shit, thank you, Shit. But at a table eating, Jesus appeared and blessed you, and prayed for you, and gave you to the disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my heart. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Thank you, we all do. But this is my blood, and we take it. For the mystery of sin. But I shall have to do with that family and for a picture of the fact that that day when I think it will be my heart to me. Help me, my righteous God, we come in our prayer. We thank you, God, for your mighty presence. We pray for our precious spirit, the great name of God. The great name of God, take a big hand, put our hands in prayer. You know, God works through the affairs of me. And sometimes, most of the times, it, it takes opportunities like yesterday, where in spite of the rain, in spite of the perceived hindrances, that God still blesses us. And he blesses us because of our faith, and because of his, his love and his grace. And so let's continue to look to God. And let's use opportunities like yesterday as means to the end of, of, of showing people Christ. Um, the best example or the best Bible study that we can give someone is the example of our lives and pointing them to Christ and then sharing the truth of the gospel with them. 
And so we're looking forward to, to contacting those families that share with us. And we appreciate you all. And Brother Vincent and Sister Pam are out here today. Both are brother and But he wanted me to relate to you. He said, one of the congregation for everything that they did to help pull off the fall place. They came through in a big way. And also want the church to know that all the extras and leftovers will be used towards our care packages for college students and holiday baskets for the need. We can discuss further with the congregation as a whole as time is. And, 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 and while we're there, our next opportunity this month, Lord's will, um, for the Thanksgiving holiday, of course, every year we raise money um, for um, for the food bank, yes, <laughs> for the food bank, and so, and what we've done the past few years is that whatever the congregation, whatever we raise, we match it as a congregation. We've done a good with that. <clears throat> we also, as Pastor said, we also want to uh, remember those who might uh, have a need. During these holidays, um, that we could reach out and help them. So we put them with that along with uh, uh, raising funds for the food bank. So um, let's keep, keep the excitement rolling. It's that time of the year um, where, you know, each month we have uh, something going on, a specific target that we can and come during the, the uh, Christmas holiday. Of course, we, as we did last year, we planned. We're planning to go and visit the, um, the veterans and to um, share with them. But also, again, we want to, for those who have specific needs to make us aware of it, um, we want to help in those cases. God has blessed us tremendously. As long as we continue to, to, to do his will and put his righteousness um, um, foremost first, uh, he will bless us to be able to bless others. Amen. Some some have asked about why uh, about when when they will start passing land over here, and uh, they've not started breaking ground. Um, there there are a couple of holes over there that that not only uh, do they need to be filled, but but there's a leak in the in the, in the, in the drainage, and they've got to fix that. So we're hoping they were supposed to. Uh, doing that this week, but as a matter of fact, one of the elders was over there with Brother Sharp, the, the contractor, on yesterday evening, yesterday early. And so hopefully that we get started this year, I mean, this week around um, the rain. Um, and so let's just keep trusting God, keep doing it well. And, and before long, we'll see that and hopefully this week taken care of. If not, we will keep serving God and doing His will and encouraging others for the cause of Christ as, as we have encouraged um, him to count for the cause of Christ. Um, that's what we're here for, whether we're there or whether we're here. So let's just keep doing God's will and His blessings. Amen. If you're visiting us and would like to just stand and just let us know who we are, if this is our opportunity to bring you this up, we will please. Okay, we, we want our visitors to know that, that we are thankful um, for you coming visiting with us. We know that we could have gone somewhere else and you chose to be here with us today. We hope that being here with us, serving God, worshiping God, will be a source of encouragement for you. And if you uh, do not share, particularly if you do not share religious conviction, even those who are in with us on social media. Facebook and Zoom. If you do not share our religious conviction, we hope that the things that we've done and said here will encourage you and cause you to ask whatever questions that you have pertaining to our beliefs and our practices as we um, line up with God and worship and we stand ready to give an answer to you for the hope that's in us. And so please feel free to make that known. Let's continue to pray for one another. Let's continue to um, serve God's people. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and remember the Nets, which they're, they're both under the weather uh, today, and they're not here, as well as others. 
you know, we it, it pulled me out last night. And, uh, and and so I'm still the rain probably in and out of the rain that affected some. And so let's 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 check on one another and make sure. And Brother Sid sent out a text this morning that his wife was having surgery um, today. And so let's remember uh, Sister Walls um, today. And also others that I might not mention, but we are aware of. Let's 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 just go back right away. Okay? There's no other announcements to stand. Oh yes. And so we're going on to Great Oaks um, Church of Christ to baptize um, the time. So please, if you have the opportunity to help, please come and let's encourage um, you know, the cat for the cause of Christ in this family. Amen. Amen. Our closing selection will be 870. 870. Beautiful and Beautiful Beautiful Shining it right, oh, beautiful Church regularly. Heavenly Father, come to you at the end of our service. So we can be always thankful to you, Heavenly Father. We have seen it through two wonderful events last night and day service. We know that your blessing is upon us. Yes. The prayers of your righteousness. Without as much. much. And we ask you these things that you continue that as we go through the week. Special prayers are coming Father, for the nasties, the um, walls, and others that I may have overlooked. Bless them, Heavenly Father. Bring them back in your will. And Heavenly Father, we thank you greatly for our new country. And we pray that you always hold your soul, your truth in, in his mouth. Yes. And be with us as we depart now. Guide us and protect us, Heavenly Father. It is in Jesus Christ's name that we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you.